Hey guys, um, ordered a uh, set of Fluke test leads uh, a few weeks ago and uh, also a Fluke 87 uh, from eBay. Uh, I didn't stretch to the brand new version which is uh, about 500 quid or so. I found a very good uh, used uh, version uh, for about 185 I think it was. If you've watched other videos, you know I've got a WaveTech and the Fluke 77 Mark III. The, the problem with the 77 is the response time is, is really slow. You can put the probes on and you sat there waiting a couple of seconds uh, before the display uh, appears correctly. So I, I really rarely use the, the Fluke 77. Uh, the WaveTech, I've had this for oh, many, many years. Uh, it's one of those that has the uh, optical interface on the top to RS-232 and you can connect it to your PC and you can get uh, all of the readings on the display here uh, actually on the PC uh, screen uh, again but probably a bit of a gimmick um, but I had used it a number of times uh, many years ago when I first uh, bought this um, some of you might remember a weird happening with this uh, a couple of years ago. I was carrying it outside to uh, take some measurements off of a faulty dishwasher, I think it was, and uh, a drop of water came off of, I think it was the workshop roof, and it just went straight in to one of the uh, probe holes, and immediately that happened, the continuity buzzer was on all the time uh, and I just don't know how it happened a splash of water in here really shouldn't have made any difference whatsoever but it did uh, I couldn't work out what had happened uh, and in the end I just uh, uh, covered up the continuity uh, buzzer uh, and you know, I've never been able to use that feature uh, since now, I don't know whether you're seeing this display very clearly or not but the the reaction time is um, you know is excellent. If it was on continuity, it's uh, you know it's just a little oh, screw that up. Uh, yeah, the continuity uh, was uh, very quick. But the reading uh, stabilizes pretty much instantly. Some meters, the cheaper ones, will sit here. You can actually see them going through the ranges before the the display appears correctly so this is really fast and one of the reasons I uh, I liked it uh, but because of the uh, continuity and the fact that I've always wanted a decent fluke I decided to get one of these um, I don't know what quality the probes are in this used one it's supposed to be in pretty good condition but I did find on eBay some uh, TR175 genuine fluke uh, cables 25 quid and I uh, thought we'd have a quick look at those at the same time as opening up this uh, this meter. As soon as you touch these, to the silicon just feels lovely. It's lovely and soft, pliable. It's not particularly warm out here at the moment. It's uh, well, well, actually, it is. I've had the heater on. You can probably hear it in the background. But it's about 12 degrees out here at the moment, and uh, these just feel very, very nice indeed. Uh, nice feature here is the, uh, the shroud for category uh, various categories so you can have it as uh, right there cat 2 thousand volts you just see I've, and uh, you've obviously got the exposed tip and if you spin that that is really it's a positive click so you're not going to be using this and it's you know, coming off and changing and then you turn it around and it's cat uh, 3 to 1000 and cat 4 to 600 and then you can see the uh, the shroud comes out and you've only got the tip then so uh, yeah very useful and that is a, a good solid click so hopefully that won't move when you're uh, when you're actually using them going to plug these quickly into the, the Fluke 77 before we get into the, uh, the 87. 
length pretty standard um, look very well made there's a bag here with a couple of replacements uh, I don't know what they're for actually where are they going to go well, actually they've got a screw thread um, kind of looks like the part that would go on the meter <laughs> so we'll have to have a look at uh, instructions there and I'm just going to show you the issue with the 77 there now it might not look like it's very slow but when you're doing repetitive measurements like I do these days uh, you know that split second makes all the difference also not very fast on the continuity but that speed of um, the measurement appearing is why I don't like the 77 mark 3 so let's have a look at this uh, new 87 I've had it a couple of weeks but I just have not had a chance to uh, even open the package. supposed to be boxed and in uh, very good condition uh, and obviously made in the uh, made in the USA rather than uh, the cheaper newer models limited lifetime warranty and we've got 1000 volt cat 3 600 volt cat 4 So yeah, let's have a look, see what condition it's, uh, it's in. So, booklet with uh, 50 different languages. A product manual, another product related information CD, a Wii directive thing, a statement of calibration, a supplement for the manual and a quick reference guide. Now, there are a lot of features hidden away on this and they're all accessed by uh, turning it on whilst holding down various buttons. Obviously had a calibration label on the top there removed. Unfortunately, a few scratches on the uh, display. Shame I didn't leave the covering on there. Now this does have a backlight. You're not going to be able to see it in, uh, in these conditions. But hopefully you can see the response time is uh, much quicker than the 77. <laughs> Actually, I've got to say, it's not as quick as I was, uh, I was expecting. I'm just going to put the, uh, the WaveTech alongside it and uh, see if we can do these together. Yeah, and the wave tech is quicker. I'll 
them still. Yeah, not much in it. Let's have a look at the uh, continuity. Actually, where is the continuity? Oh, okay, my fault. Got to put it on there and uh, impress the continuity buzzer. Well, maybe not. I guess it helps if you read the instructions first. Okay, well, what am I doing wrong there? I can't believe it. I'm going to have to look at the instructions to work out how to use the continuity mode. Oh, hang on, but I picked up the wrong... <laughs> okay, guys, spot the deliberate <laughs> deliberate error. I picked up uh, one lead from this, <laughs> one lead from the WaveTech. What an idiot. See how that is absolutely instant. And that's what I wanted. Yeah, very, very quick indeed. The uh, display is pretty much the same size as the WaveTech. And uh, I've got to say, the 77 has a clearer, clearer display. Backlight's on at the moment. Let's see if we can turn that off. You're probably not going to be able to see it very well, but the 77's display is definitely clearer uh, than the 87. I'm quite surprised about that as well. The 87 is pretty much the uh, industry standard and best meter you can get. But here in the, uh, in the workshop, I'm not getting a good angle on that at all. Yeah, it wants to be about there for the best display. There you are. Then there's not much in it. But of course, with that stand, you can't actually get it down that far. So, uh, mm, yeah, interesting. I'll have to have a little play with that, see if I can do something with uh, the stand. Now we've got Hertz. Let's just see what the maximum readings are. it's going to say quickly anywhere. Mm, we've got capacitance, resistance, temperature. Uh, have we got temperature on this one? Yes we have. Uh, conductance, oh, well that's handy. I think this is probably a pointless video at this point. I should have uh, probably had a good read of the, uh, the instructions because uh, there's a lot of things on here that I want to check. So yeah, sorry guys, I'll probably uh, scrap this and, and start again. <laughs>